need to do before you ever leave your house or leave your office to head toward the networking event is to make a follow-up plan. Make sure you've got that follow-up plan in place. This is going to make it easy for you to actually follow the plan if you have it created before you leave the house. What are you going to do after you've met these people at this networking event? Are you going to set up a coffee date? Are you going to set up lunch? Maybe they're across the country, so you, maybe you met them online, so you can't do that. But you can have virtual coffee. You can schedule a Zoom call. You can write them a note. You can send them an email. You can draft these emails in your Gmail, and you can have the whole bit sitting there waiting for the specific information about that person, their email address, their name, and what you know about them. And then it could just be sitting there as a draft. And then as soon as you get home from that networking event, or the next day when you get back to your office, you can send that email to them. Follow up quickly, that's going to make a huge impression on people. So here you go, you've got the entire plan, you know everything you need to do to be successful at the events that you go to. You're going to create a plan and how many people I plan to meet tonight and what are the criteria that will establish success. Who is a wingman? Am I taking one? Do I need one? Can I find one when I'm there? How will I connect with people? Will it be business cards? Will it be LinkedIn? And how will I follow up with these people? So you're bringing it full circle. <laughs>